There are a few ways you can prepare sessions in advance on Bramble. You can prepare resources before the lesson on your device. So you can just get everything ready in folders on your computer, like I've done here with this math lesson, and then upload them to Bramble during the live session itself as you go along. So one way I can upload these images or PDFs is by choosing From Device once clicking on the upload icon in my toolbar. Or, even easier and quicker, I can drag and drop them straight from my folder on my computer into the room. I can then work on these with my student as we go along. I can also take screenshots of open material on my computer. In this case, I have this math paper open as a PDF, so to focus in on a particular question, I can just screenshot it and paste it directly onto the page for my student to annotate. To do this on a Mac, I hold down Control Command Shift 4. On a Windows device, use the snipping tool. We usually recommend this technique as resource uploading is super fast, which works well and requires minimum prep on your side. It also means you don't upload any unnecessary material that you may not end up using in that session. You can prepare material on the notebook and then leave it in the room before your session. Your room will stay in whatever state you leave it in. So here I'm preparing resources for a verb lesson with a primary age student. I can upload the resources as normal at any time before our lesson together so the room is ready before the session begins. Once I've finished my preparation, all I have to do is click off the room without exporting the notebook. When I log back in with my student at the agreed session time, all the work will be ready to go. This can also be a great option if you want your student to complete work without you before the session begins. To say, for example, I wanted them to do this verb exercise, my student can log into the room before me to do it in their own time, and then during the session, I can go through it with them. You can export a notebook with resources in and then re-upload it to your room. So simply log into a room and upload all the resources you want for your lesson. So in this case, I'm uploading material for a lesson on mitosis. Once you've finished uploading everything, all you need to do is export the notebook. This will send you a PDF copy of the prepared work. You can then download this PDF and save it on your device. As you can see here, I've saved this lesson in my folder on mitosis. You can then upload that PDF into your room whenever you want to use it again, like so. This is a great option if you're using the same lesson plan with multiple students and want to use those resources again and again.